Hey guys, what's going on? Rick Burrows here. I forgot one more step with the uh, the Pix4D video that I made the other day. You have to turn yourself into a developer on the remote. You have to hit a couple buttons and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so I do apologize that I forgot that step, but it's actually very, very simple. You simply open your settings. I'm gonna scroll down to about device. Keep going down and you see system version, you want to tap on the screen and you'll see that you have to keep tapping it and it will eventually say that now you are a developer. I know it sounds kind of weird, but this is how you actually have to activate the USB, uh, USB connection. It's really simple. So you keep going down, you tap it and it says you are a developer. So you want to go back, developer options. Uh, you want on and USB debugging. Debugging mode when USB is connected, you want that on. And that's the step that I forgot to add in that video. You go to connect it, USB is enabled. That's what that's for. Let's go ahead and turn on the drone. You also wanna be sure that Pix40 is actually off. Actually, and uh, yeah, we got it. We got it open. You want to make sure that that's off. Okay, so what I did was I just closed out the control plus DJI. So we're gonna open it again. It says it's connecting, and it's connected. Okay, so that's the extra step that you have to do. All right. So with that being said, again, I apologize that I missed that step in setting up your Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, and getting Pix40 put onto your remote. I really hope this helps out because I know we had a couple of people on there saying it's not working and I'm like, man, what was that extra step? And then sure enough, the USB issue. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment below if this helped you, if this was the, if this is what you needed in order to get that done. So go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe and comment and I'll see you on the next video.